Hi children, our topic today is solve problems involving coordinates, ratio and proportions. Now look at example 1. The following are the positions and prices of 5 electrical appliances. Okay, we have rice cooker, television, iron, water heater and refrigerator. Are you paid 2020 ringgit for two electrical appliances? State the items he bought and the coordinates of each item. Okay, first understand the problem. The price of two items is 2020 ringgit. Okay, and state any two items and each coordinates. First, we need to total up any two items for 2020 ringgit. Okay, let's try with television and water heater. Okay, when we total up, we will get 1970 ringgit. Okay, Ayub didn't buy these two items. Okay, now let's try with refrigerator and water heater. Okay, so 1800 plus with 2020. Okay, so when you total up the price of these two items, we will get 2020 ringgit. That means Ayub bought a refrigerator and water heater. Okay, now. Look at the chart. So the coordinate of the refrigerator is 4, 2. And the coordinate for the water heater is 5, 4. Okay, look at question number 2. Halim bought a durian weighing 1 kilogram. Weka bought a durian weighing 5 kilogram more than the mass of Halim's durian. What did the ratio of the mass of Halim's durian to the mass of Rekha's durian. Okay, so understand the problem. The mass of Halim's durian is 1 kilogram. The mass of Rekha's durian is 5 kilogram more than the mass of Halim's durian. Now, we need to find the ratio of mass of Halim's durian to the mass of Rekha's durian. Okay, first find the mass of Rekha's durian. Okay, since Rekha's durian is 5 kg more than the mass of Halim's durian, so 1 kg plus with 5 kg, so the mass of Rekha's durian will be 6 kg. Now, find the ratio. The mass of Halim's durian is 1 kg and the mass of Rekha's durian is 6 kg. Now, write the ratio. So, the ratio of the mass of Halim's durian to the mass of Rekha's durian is ratio 1 to 6. Okay, now look at example 3. The price of exercise books at 3 bookshops are as follows. Okay, bookshop A, 4 books for 4 ringgit 80 cents. Bookshop B, 2 books for 2 ringgit 60 cents. Bookshop C, 3 books for 3 ringgit 30 cents. Adira wanted to buy 12 exercise books. Which bookshop would she choose? Justify your answer. Okay, first let's look at bookshop A. Price of 4 books is 4 ringgit 80 cents. So find the price of a book. 4 ringgit 80 cents divided by 4. So the price of a book is 1 ringgit 20 cents. Adira bought 12 books, so we multiply with 12. The total will be 14 ringgit and 40 cents. Now we calculate for bookshop B. The price of 2 books is 2 ringgit 60 cents. So a price of 1 book will be 2 ringgit 60 cents divided by 2. Okay, it will be 1 ringgit 30 cents. Okay, 1 ringgit 30 cents multiply by 12. The price of 12 books will be 15 ringgit 60 cents. Okay, now look at bookshop C. Okay, the price of 3 books is 3 ringgit 30 cents. Okay, 3 ringgit 30 divided by 3. So the price of 1 book is 1 ringgit 10 cents. 
So 1 ringgit 10 sen multiply with 12 exercises book. The price of 12 book is 13 ringgit 20 cents. Now compare the prices. Okay, which book should Adira choose? Adira choose bookshop C. Why? Because the price of books in bookshop C is the cheapest. Okay, children, that's all for today. We'll meet again.